The new design of Boruto, or is it an attempt by the authors to turn the main character into a new Sasuke? What is Boruto really capable of after the time skip? Enjoy watching. The anime Boruto will be released in the new year, and the exact date is unknown, just like when the four episodes of the special release about young Naruto will be released. But thanks to the manga, we already know about the new character designs due to the time skip. Our main characters have grown up and look completely different. Boruto was absent from Konoha for three years, just like his father once was. His mentor was Ichiha Sasuke, who spent a whole year with him. According to the teacher, he was able to teach Boruto all of his techniques and styles, that is, mastery of the katana, tai jutsu, the ability to form hand seals, and others. Apparently, he taught him literally everything he could use, except for the Sharingan gun and the abilities of those eyes. In other words, all fire techniques, and probably even the Chidori. Sasuke said that the young hero is a genius, as in a one year he managed to learn everything. Thanks to these events, we saw the interim design of the main character. During this time, Boruto not only learned Sasuke's techniques, but also developed a taste in clothing and even grew his hair, leading to a hairstyle reminiscent of Achiha's style. If we'll dye his hair black and remove the stripes on his cheeks, and we can also give him the Sharingan, we will have the son of Sasuke himself. But seriously, Boruto imitates his teacher. Ichiha has always been an example for him, since the boy did not want to follow in his father's footsteps. From childhood, he saw that the post of Hakagi is a monotonous job that takes up time. He wanted to be cool and different from his father, and Sasuke is the complete opposite of Naruto. However, there is a small problem. Boruto was upset that his father was not home due to his duties and decided to imitate Sasuke, who almost killed his daughter, just because he didn't recognize her, having not seen her for many years due to his absence in the village. So, let's hope that Boruto won't imitate him and won't leave Serata with a child or whoever will be his wife, saying, here's my hand, and I'll go protect the world in the shadows. See you in 10 years. Okay, jokes aside, Boruto's hairstyle really suits him, and it suits him better than the one he has now after the time skip. It would be interesting if this design remained when he returned to Konoha to save everyone from Kawaki. I think at that moment, Serata would be even more surprised. When Sasuke and Boruto separated, namely when Ichiha sacrificed himself to save his student, he said that if the boy learns to use everything he was taught, he will become the strongest shinobi. Therefore, in the future, we may see the Chidori, and perhaps even a variation of the Rasengan. And not only Uzuhika will be the strongest technique, but also the combined generation, the technique of the father and his sworn friend. The will of both will merge into one. It's like the true reconciliation of Hagoroma's son. But there is another question. Who taught Boruto the technique of the Flying Thunder God? One could assume that it was Sasuke, that he could study this technique after losing his mobility thanks to the Rinnegan, and to be able to move to other places, he could start studying the techniques of the second and fourth Hakagis. However, the main character was not in Konoha for three years, and Sasuke trained him for only a year. Thanks to complex mathematical calculations, I figured out that Boruto had two more years, and where was he all this time? And we got the answer, Kashin Koji, a man who has the appearance of the greatest, most powerful, brilliant writer, Jiraiya. Well, and also, a super pervert. Koji showed us many interesting abilities in the battle against Jigen, but he did not use Minato's technique. So the question is still open. Where did Boruto get this technique? But that's not the main thing. How long did Koji train the younger Uzumaki? All these two years, or one and a half, or a year, or, in general, several months. Judging by the dialogue between Kashin and Boruto, they pursue the same goal, to stop the Ten Tails. They seem to have an alliance rather rather than just a teacher-student relationship. We know for sure that a lot has happened over these two years. But what? Two events are certain. First, Boruto got a haircut. Second, he met Koji. Initially, many assumed that the boy had mastered the toad summoning technique when he appeared in Konoha. But, as I mentioned, that was Koji's ability. Thanks to that toad, he communicated with the boy. With its help, Boruto was able to sneak into the village unnoticed. As a shinobi, the younger Uzumaki had already become stronger than Naruto himself. He lacks combat experience, but he is clearly stronger than his father was when he returned from training. This is a completely different level. Ichiha's words about the boy mastering all his techniques only confirm this. The power of the fourth. But that's not all. We also have karma, which Boruto has not yet manifested. With Ichiha, he trained in the power of the shinobi for a whole year, but with Koji, he could very well have trained in karma control. That's why Boruto learned that the Jubi is evolving, because his thoughts intersected with Mamashiki, and the boy saw an Otsutsuki vision. I'll be waiting for the authors to reveal not only the year of training with Sasuke, but also the other two, 
as that's where all the interesting stuff lies. Meeting Koji, events with the vision, possible study of Minato's technique, and the control of karma. We've only seen Boruto's shinobi strength. He surpasses most Junin currently existing in their world. Although, no, he is the strongest shinobi at the moment. Without Naruto and Sasuke, no one can oppose him in ninja strength. However, the power of the Otsutsuki is a different matter, since it hasn't been demonstrated to us yet. But one thing we know for sure, Boruto denies the power of the Otsutsuki and wants to become independently strong. That's why he studied his grandfather's techniques. I'm still waiting for the appearance of the Jogun and the revelation of Mamashiki's true power. In my opinion, he is one of the weakest representatives of his clan. The Shiki would easily tear him to shreds. But I'm sure that in the new chapters, we will learn more, as Boruto has returned to Kanoha, where he received the long-awaited hug from Sarada. And Sumrei just watched. So, whether Boruto and Sumrei are together or not, I'm in favor of him being with Sarada. The year is coming to an end. The Boruto manga will be out next year, and the anime who knows when. But we're not upset. We enjoy the story in the chapters. I wish everyone good health in 2024, and more of my videos for you. Waiting for your opinions in the comments. Good luck to everyone.